talk about a little bit what we have gone through kind of like actually in the beginning of class. So if you guys remember, in the, one of the first couple things that we learned out was talk about a parabola. And if you remember, we just kind of went through about the parent graph. And we said that all parabolas can be written in this form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Right? Kind of your general form. So that is, your, uh, that is a quadratic equation. And then what we also did in this class is we looked at a different form of a uh, quadratic, and that was in your vertex form. Remember, we worked on like completing the square to be able to find the vertex and the transformations. And that was equal to y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. All right? So what I pretty much say is, you know, this is the way that we kind of described a parabola. We just kind of said, ladies and gentlemen, these are parabolas. These are going to present you with a graph. But it didn't really give us a good definition of exactly what a parabola is. All right? Um, and to kind of do this, let's go and talk about uh, one thing I think that's easiest to kind of look at this. If you guys look at a circle, and it's not the best circle, but does anybody know like a good definition of a circle that they maybe want to throw up? Anything that maybe has a good circle definition? It's going to contain 360 degrees, but how could I say that I'm always going to have provide a circle? One definition that we could use is a circle is a set of points, right? There's infinite many points around that are all equal, or what we call equidistance, from the center. Right? You can kind of think of little spokes on a, uh, on a bicycle. Each one of these points are all equal distance to the center. Does everybody agree with that? OK, so that's just a rough little small definition of a circle, which we'll get into further in the next chapter. But well, I'm just going to use that to kind of go with our definition of a parabola. Because a parabola is um, not going to be obviously the same, because it's not a circle. But the definition of a parabola that we're going to deal with is it's going to be a set of points all right, that are equidistant from a point, which we call the focus, and a line, which we call the directrix. Okay, now I know this isn't like perfect. Okay, but what you can see if those are all supposed to be perfectly um, equal to each other. But that's going to be your definition of a parabola. It's going to be a set of points that are equidistant from your focus to your directrix. Okay, and I know my picture isn't going to be the best um, picture up there, but that's what you guys need to understand about a parabola. All right, that's just another definition. Rather than saying, oh, a parabola comes in this format, it comes in, uh, in this form or this equation, the definition of a parabola that is going to be sufficient for all parabolas is set of points that are equidistant from the focus and a line, the directrix. Okay? All right. So we'll get into the formulas here in just a second, but if you guys can just write that down. Um, 